The Mindset Shift presents Audiobook Summary Bambi, A Life in the Woods by Felix Salton One spring day a hind gave birth to a fawn named Bambi. He was beautiful and everyone admired him. The mother took on an assignment to teach Bambi everything she knows. First, she taught him how to walk, and then they would play in the meadow. His mother taught him all of the beauties and dangers of life. He met a rabbit and a rowena who had two kids gob and famine. Two big deer showed up on the meadow, and his mother explained that those were their fathers who will show up when the time is right. Bambi learned that during the day, it was too dangerous for a small creature for him to go out, and that it was safer if he went out at night. He learned what is the fear of a storm and the consolation of a gentle rain. Soon he couldn't find his mother because she just disappeared. When he went looking for her, he met Gob and Famina who were experiencing the same thing, so they came to a conclusion that they must be with their fathers. His mother's disappearing became more and more often, so he went looking for her one day. But one of the deer told him never to do that. It was a beautiful morning. Everything was peaceful, and the animals spent their time in harmony. All of the sudden, they heard a strong thunder. Or at least, that's what Bambi thought that sound was. He started running, and he found a dead deer. His mother found him and took him into the forest. She told that that he had killed the deer. When Bambi asked who was he a deer, just told him that he should listen, sniff, watch, and then disappear. Fall was here, and the leaves went yellow. It started to get foggy, and the food was slowly disappearing. Soon, a cold wind brought snow. The roe deer started to hang out more often, and some new faces joined them, such as Marina, Netla, Bambi heard awful stories about the third hand from which flame came. Soon he and a bunch of he lookalikes surrounded the animals and started killing them. Everything that ran or flew was being killed. Bambi managed to run away because he heard a voice telling him to do so. Only Bambi, Famina, Nedla, and Aina survived. He never saw his mother after that. Bambi got bigger and got little horns. Spring brought a new feeling to his life, and it was love. He was getting bigger and stronger and wanted to find himself a partner. Famina was getting more and more beautiful, but Rono and Karus did not want for Bambi to hang out with her. Bambi beat them up and Famina was amazed by that so much that she told him that she loved him. After a whole night spent with Famina, Bambi woke up in the morning and heard her calling him. He started to run towards the sound, but then a deer stopped him. He told him that he uses tricks such as that to get the young deer. Bambi asked Famina never to call him again because of that because it was something he couldn't resist. Bambi and Famina met an unknown buck. It turns out to be Gob who was almost killed that night, but one of them took him home and took care of him. Now he is well and tells everyone how good he is. Gob also says that he is pride to be wearing his ribbon around his neck. After some time, Gob met Marina and they became inseparable. Bambi started to feel the need to find one of the deer that took care of him. But Bambi forgot about his safety and got shot by Hay. The deer managed to save him from the hunters and the bloodthirsty dogs. Bambi was recovering in a hidden shelter, and he was healing his wounds with some herbs. He felt happy and joyful sometimes, and sometimes he would feel very sad and nostalgic. He decided to listen carefully to the deer and let his lessons sink into his brain. Soon hunting season came along and they saw a wounded fox that was yelling at a dog that he sold himself out and that he is a traitor who serves to he. One day the deer took Bambi to the place where a dead poacher was. The deer explained to Bambi that he is not above the forest animals. Bambi realized that humans and animals weren't in a hierarchic order. He found out that they were a part of something much bigger. The deer realized that his job here was done, and he said to Bambi that he loved him, and that he has to go to the place where everyone goes alone. 
Thank you for joining me on this audio journey through Bambi, A Life in the Woods by Felix Sultan. I hope this summary has given you a glimpse into the beautiful and poignant story of Bambi, the young deer, and his experiences in the forest, as well as the deep themes of life, death, and nature that the novel explores. As always, on the Mindset Shift, we believe that reading and learning can shift our mindset and broaden our perspectives. So, if you haven't already, I highly recommend picking up a copy of Bambi, A Life in the Woods, and immersing yourself in this classic tale. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Mindset Shift for more audiobook summaries and other insightful content that can help you shift your mindset and improve your life. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.